part, I want to talk a little bit about Revit levels and how they create floor plans in Revit. So we have this Rhino model inserted in here and we're using um, it as an example to sort of slice apart. So Revit has levels and if I go to my south elevation you'll be able to see plane A1, A2, A3 and it's up you know a certain distance. This would be your finished floor typically in a more traditional building and then what Revit does is you set a height for it to go up and cut the model at that particular height. So for example if I WT window tile ZA just to give us an example if I go to plan A1 schematic I can come over here to my view range and turn on my view range. If I go to show over here Basically what the level's doing is it's right here. It has a top, right, one right here. It has a cut plane at four feet, so that's where it's cutting, right there. Um, and then it has a view range, or a view depth, that goes down below. And then it has the whole view range, which goes up and down, because sometimes you have um, uh, reflected ceiling plan so you're looking up or down something like that and so this is sort of how Revit sets it up. If I were to change either the location of this level or the location of the cut plane it's going to adjust that so for example if I took this to one foot and hit apply you're gonna see that guy just update a little bit right it's not a big change for it but it does move it now if I were to go in and let's open up plan schematic 2 there and if I come in and take A2 and I take that down to one foot, right, you're going to see it change that section cut. So that's basically what the levels are doing. And you can have levels that create floor plans or you can have reference levels that don't. So what I want to do right now is I want to create um, a few more levels um, and make schematic floor plans for them. So I'm just going to close these guys out here and come and look at, at this guy. Um, first thing probably you'll notice the roof is very low so I want to take this roof one and, and actually match it up with the top of that roof. So I can do that in a couple of different ways. Probably um, my most effective way of doing that is typically to use the align command so shortcut is AL and you pick the thing that you don't want to move so that's where I want something to go and then you pick the thing you want to go there. And it's going to yell at me because this was associated with a scope box. And I pulled it out of the scope box. And so it's saying, oh, I got to disassociate from that. And that's fine. We'll reassociate it later when we talk about scope boxes. All right, so that comes up there. So now that's up there. And now what I want to do is I want to create a couple more levels here um, to get the next sort of higher floors. And so there's a, several different ways to create levels. The way we're going to do it is go to the Architecture tab and go to Level. And I'm going to set the offset at 10 foot right here. And I'm going to use a Pick Line command. So I'm going to pick on this Pick Line. And when I hover over that line, depending on which side I hover on it, will it will create a new level up there. And you can see it's going to make a plan view. And it's going to make plan view types. And if I click on that, it's going to make a ceiling, a floor plan, and a structural plan. If I just want the floor plan and not the structural plan, I can just do that. And now I can come in and click. And you'll see it creates a new floor plan with A7. But I want that. I'm just going to click on it and make it A5, right? And it's going to rename the corresponding view, yes. So you see those both match. And then I'm still in the create level command even though I renamed that. So I'm just going to hover over that and left click and it'll go to A6. Right, and so now I have another level A6. The last thing I want to do um, is I want to go ahead and uh, change these levels types to look like this level type. So I'm going to go to the modify to stop the pick line command because I'm still in it. And I'm going to pick this level right here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come over here to what's called the type selector. And in the pull down for the family of level, you get different type options. And one of them is a Century Gothic gray text, which is the one that matches this one. And you can kind of create custom versions of these. I've given you some that you can use. Uh, if you don't like Century Gothic, you're kind of out of luck. Um, 
but there's that so we've got these new plans and we have new plans over here and when we come back um, we'll talk about scope boxes and then we will talk about view templates.